what up YouTube today I'm going to show you guys how to replace the uh, taillight bulb on a Toyota Prius and in this case I think it's the brake light that's burnt out but if you notice if you own a Prius you'll know that instead of a regular bulb for the uh, brake light like the uh, I think the reverse light has a regular bulb but the rest of it is a uh, LED you'd actually have to end up replacing the whole assembly instead of just the bulb so it's a pretty easy job uh, I'm going to get out the tools that we need to do it I've already got another light assembly purchased and I'm going to show you guys how to quickly replace this. Okay, so to do this job, all you're going to need is a 10 mil wrench. In this case, I'm just using a flex uh, gear wrench and a trim tool. And basically, we're going to just open the box here. Little uh, tip, when you do a job like this, make sure you're, before you get going on anything, you compare the uh, new part to the old part to make sure you got the right, uh, the right thing. Let's get this thing unboxed. Okay, so. so I went with the cheaper aftermarket option because they're just as good and usually they'll match 100% of the time. And basically, it's almost the same thing as the OEM one anyway. So once I got the light out of here, basically, Put it up again so yeah it's the exact same part so now that we've confirmed that we've got the right part the first thing you want to do is get a trim tool or something similar and right in the back here in the hatch there's this little access cover so you want to go ahead and pop that off okay so with the access cover popped off you're going to notice in here there's there's only a few harnesses to disconnect and there's a 10 millimeter bolt there and there's a there's two 10 millimeter bolts. It's gonna be a bit harder to see here, but there's one right there. And there's another one kind of up in that area there. If you actually look at the light here, you'll notice there's one here, one there, and then one underneath this foam thing right here. So those are the three you wanna loosen up, and that's where the 10 millimeter is gonna come in handy. So get your wrench in there, loosen it up, crack it loose, and then uh, take the rest off by hand. So I'm going to cut the video, I'm going to loosen those, I'm going to pull the lamp out and then I'll show you how to disconnect. So a little word of caution here, with these little 10 mil uh, nuts, be very careful when you're loosening them up, especially on the last few threads, because if you drop them in there, good luck getting it out. So I've loosened them all up, um, got the light here, and as you can see, the only thing holding it is in is this uh, one harness, and it's pretty easy to undo, you just look here, I'll try to get this done with one hand, so... Uh, basically there's a little button right there you press it and you're just gonna kind of maneuver that out of there just like that so that's pretty uh, pretty much all it is to get the light out we're gonna get our we're gonna get our other light here make sure this gasket is still in place so put it down That's in place. So basically just position the um, the light assembly in there. One thing you want to keep in mind is this little yellow thing here has to get lined up with that tab right there. So the first thing you want to do is put it in position and connect the harness. And you should hear a click. There you go. So you heard that click. To get it all lined up you want to just kind of make sure that yellow part back there is good and then with that being all good you have to there's actually a ball stud here and one on the bottom actually there's just the one so basically just line up the ball stud this little yellow deal over here and all three of the nuts or the screws into the holes and you're gonna have to kind of finesse it a little bit but it should end up going in for you so I'm gonna, it's harder to do with one hand, so I'm gonna put the camera down, get this all set up, and then we'll cut back to the video. So quick tip, before you uh, bolt everything back together, get a helper to help you um, kind of go through the motions and make sure the light's gonna work. So do the turn signal, tail lights. So that's the tail light, that's the uh, brake or signal. And then, uh, can you put it in reverse as well? Yeah. So before this, it was a brake light that wasn't working, right? Yeah, brake light's working now. So basically, now that we know everything's working, we're gonna go ahead, 
and we're gonna get the three um, nuts put back on and then uh, put the cover on and that's it guys that's all it is well there you guys have it I just finished up bolting the uh, three bolts and put the cover back on and pretty much that's all it is to replace the tail lamp assembly on a Toyota Prius what year is this car 2014 Toyota Prius C uh, pretty easy job that you guys can tackle at home you can order your parts anywhere even Amazon and if I find something on Amazon I'll put it in the links below but uh, that's all there is to it the only things you have to be cautious about are make sure you compare the old parts to the new parts when it's aftermarket and make sure that uh, you have somebody check before you bolt everything back together to make sure everything's working and just keep uh, be very careful with those three 10 millimeter bolts when you're taking them off and when you're putting them back on because you don't want to drop them down there because if you do it's going to be hard to fish them out but yeah guys with that uh, that's how to change your tail lamp assembly on a toyota prius same steps for the other side if you like what you saw today please like comment and subscribe thank you